What the fuck? This is so stupid. The prices are so high. I'm just trying to flex and look cool and hide my insecurities. What? You know what? I've listened to a lot of Kanye songs. And I follow Complex and Hype Beast on Instagram. You know, I'm basically a fashion designer at this point. You know what? I'll just do it myself. Hashtag grind. Hashtag entrepreneur. Hashtag self-made. Inspiration. 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 Okay, so after three months of grinding hard, I finally come up on my life's work. And here it is in three, two, one. You know, and it's only $75 plus shipping. I'm not paying for shipping. Printed on Gildan. I mean, high quality blanks made with Virgil Abloh skin, you know, and it will sell out quick, fam. So, you know, super freaking hype, you know, next level of vision. Please buy it. My mom's gonna kick me out the house if I don't have anything to show for myself, please. What's up, guys? It's your boy, and I learned how to use Illustrator yesterday, and now I have Supreme on its fucking toes. In this video, you're gonna learn why startup streetwear brands suck, and if your stuff falls in this category, I'm sorry. Sorry that your ass can't be creative enough to come up with something other than Sailor Moon sipping on a cup of lean. Get your shit together. It's 2018. But I'm gonna break it down into three things, and they're gonna be designs, quality and vision and for the shitty ones just just you know go ahead and put a lack before every topic because that's exactly it you guys are lacking starting off with a thicky we got designs and boy the whole sailor moon drinking lean thing is just a joke but some people fucking dead ass you know what the fuck is this it's not that hard to draw a cup of lean and it's not that hard to print it on a hat doing this does not make you the next raf simmons more like more like laugh simmons Christian, shut the fuck up, you're not funny. But really, it's not that bad to be simple and clean, you know, but you're not pushing a new level of creative direction with your drawing of prayer hands on my left nipple. And if you tell me, oh, what if I can't draw or design or I don't have good taste or I don't know how to make quality clothes, then first of all, nobody's holding a fucking gun to your head forcing you to establish the next Supreme. Even worse, nobody's holding a rubber band with a paper missile to the back of your neck either. Because those things fucking hurt. Oh, what the fuck? So either get better at drawing or just get better at copying other people's artwork and changing it barely enough to call it your own. And the last one was a joke. Just like your fucking brand. Next up, we got quality. Now it's become a meme to print on Gildans, but it gets the job done. It's cheap, it's quick, and you know, they're not that bad, but that should be it. Don't be charging some crazy amount of money for shirts that are printed on a $10 blank max. It's great to think optimistically, but be real at the same time. Like, do you really think that your shirt that has a katakana spelling of hype beast on it is worth $40. I'm just saying, man, some of you guys look like you just brought up your old save files from Kid Picks and sent it into a sweatshop. By the way, I used to fuck with Kid Picks so hard back in the day. Now you can catch me on there for hours, but now I use Instagram. Go follow my Instagram at ChristianVY. I like cereal and pizza and sometimes at the same time. Lastly, we got vision and this one easily gets overlooked because it's so easy to start a brand without any ulterior motive nowadays. And I'm not saying that everything has to have a deeper meaning or anything, but it's always nice to see a creative motive behind either design or just brand direction in general. Like it's cool to just see the motives behind some people's brands. Like Supreme has a very politically influenced direction. You know, sometimes it's a bit edgy and bold on its own way, which is cool. Off-White really had that part where they bridge streetwear and high fashion, yo. And all this is not necessarily needed to start a brand, but it's just funny when people try to force their quote, vision down other people's throats when really, you know, you just wanna make a quick buck off of a drawing of your favorite anime plus whatever SoundCloud rappers are talking about nowadays. All right, so to wrap this up, I don't care about your fucking lean shirt stop because thanks for watching the video and i know it got a little real towards the end but i was writing this script at a park and i really had to pee and there weren't any bathrooms so you know i was kind of on edge follow my instagram at christianvy for more bad content and tweet at me at christianvyyt for some memes email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything and yeah guys stay lit respect women but most importantly <laughs>